Do not skip the intro, there's a lot of things going on. Starting by this new feature that we have on Pokeland Legends Club, the link is in the description as usual, we have an event archive that will actually just record all the events that we will have, like all the important ones that we will have along the days on Pokeland. This is useful so that you can go back and see what events existed in the last week, two weeks ago, etc. Because we will start just saving the events from every single damn week. And you, you can just come over here and see, for example, the happy exchange, see the prices of items that interest you so that you have a, a source of actually looking for this information. Also, there's a poll going on on the community tab of my channel, so if you'd be kind to go and vote on it, would be awesome. But basically, Virtual made an app for Infinity Island to have an event reminder to alert you when the events actually happen, and the poll is to decide if it would be useful for Pokeland as well or not. Number three, a little bit of plans for the future with the channel and with Pokeland videos in general. While we don't have like many events, I've been struggling a little bit on coming up with ideas to actually make content for the channel and one of the ideas that I came up with is actually weekly Pokemon reviews or maybe even team reviews so if you would like to have like one Pokemon that I could review and showcase and explain you what teams it's good at and maybe actually just uh, explain you how to build a Pokemon with like wish star suggestions gears whatever just let me know. Just comment on this video. Tell me what Pokemon would you like me to review. And if you have any other ideas really about Pokeland, feel free, hit me up. If you are recharging, I'm pretty sure you would like to save some money while doing so. Imagine that you are planning to recharge and you can get like 15 to 25% of your recharge as a bonus to use again. This is what Aptoin does. Right now, it will give you between 15 and 25% of your recharge in Aptcoin credits so that you can use again to recharge. All you have to do is to download Pokeland Legends from Aptoid's store, download the wallet and use my code if you want. It's a really fast and easy process and it's totally legit. I spoke with the Pokeland developers and they did confirm that Aptoid is working with them to make this happen. And yes, you would need to download Pokeland Legends from Aptoid's store, but honestly, for a 15 to 25% extra on your recharges, it's totally worth it. The links for Pokeland Legends of Aptoid and the wallet are in the description and don't forget to use my code DANNYV1 to achieve the 15% discount. And now let's go and do a quick review on the events that are happening right now on Pokeland. Then we will do some drop testings because these items over here are actually dropping on the elite and normal maps. So we will just do a quick drop testings over there. And also there's these two Pokemons available for Valentine's Day, Meowstic male and Meowstic female. So we will actually give those a try. Start by the happy exchange. Over here we have items that we can exchange, right? As you can see, I already have tons of these items because it was from a previous event. Red roses, yellow roses, blue roses. And we can exchange for avatar frames, we can exchange for new Pokemons, we can exchange for costumes and also wish star so let's take a look at everything and i'll tell you guys what's worth if you are looking just to add stats to your account i can just tell you that this avatar frame is the best thing that you can buy for the price it's actually pretty cheap we can just come over here and we go to the avatar frame so we scroll all the way down and we can see that saint valentine's day that provides three percent physical attack and special attack to all of your pokemon works basically just like furniture and then we have these two pokemon that we will review in a bit then we have some cost now, these two costumes we have, let me see, let me see, we have the Vaporeon and we have the Eevee costume tickets. Now, to get a full costume, you will need to get both the parts of the costume, the top part and the bottom part. And let me explain you like a little bit better over here on the costumes. These costumes belong to these two over here. And as we can see, Chase, we need three items to unlock Chase, the Pikachu and these two that are also available over there on the Happy Exchange. And also Kate is the same logic. So in order to actually start getting the elite costumes, because then they have like a bunch of different variations and two of them are right now on the event, which is the Vaporeon and the Eevee. To even be able to get those, you first need to get the base ones, which are these. Now, basically you get these almost for free. <laughs> What I mean by almost for free is that, well, you can buy this on the team store over 
there so you go over there the team store uh, if it's not there you can just refresh the store you can buy it for like 10,000 team coins if I remember correctly each one and then also you get those for kind of free so we just need to focus on the Vaporeon and on the EV ones are they worth it keep in mind that you would need both uh, top and bottom so you would need 50 of those blue roses 50 it will be hard to get we will take a look in a bit about the wish stars i mean achieving 100 blue roses would only be if you recharge right so you would probably need to decide between which wish star is better for you star of the mountain say it's actually very good countering sacrifices and stuff and increasing your restriction damage. Now, if you are using Mount Tensei, you want a Pokemon that will do constantly restriction damage. Anything with infinity type, like uh, the Creator Arcus, the Overlord, maybe the Zacian, and but mostly like, for example, Hoopa, Primal Dialga. If you are playing any of these, uh, the, the Mount Tensei is actually awesome. I personally don't like Annihilation Star so much, you should only get it if you are actually really struggling to make your Pokemon crit the enemy. And Time Star. Time Star is actually awesome. So it, like if you get way too many roses and you need to decide a, a Wish Star and if you don't have Time Star and the other two don't interest you, I mean Time Star is, would be the best option even for me uh, related to the crit like because personally I don't feel problems critting Pokemon so Time Star would be a better thing. There's basically not many other options. The Strike cards that you can exchange as I usually say they only help like really early game players and nothing else the, honestly nothing else you only go for strike cards if you have like no other option i will personally aim for the avatar frame as i said that it was an awesome deal for the the price and then if i have enough which i probably will not <laughs> going for the eevee costume as well okay now that we took a look at the happy exchange how to get all of those roses so let's start over here daily sale the normal thing uh, if you want to recharge like one dollar or five dollars you will get a couple of roses also since we are over here let me just point out that there's actually uh, a return and diamonds of the advanced capsule gift this week and, and reminding people that we do share the list of the whole week on our website, The Legends Club, so check it out. Together still with the recharge options, Ode to Joy, right? Since we can have like some of those blue uh, roses. There's stuff going on, a limited sign-in event, so free stuff, let's go. We have like 200 firebooks and we will have some blue roses along the week and some diamonds and some stuff. Always welcome, free stuff is always welcome. Well, recharge gift is <laughs> it's here as well if you need more blue roses. There's never enough recharge options, okay? <laughs> oh yeah, we have a nature reset going on, but keep in mind this will last for the whole week, so I don't advise you to spend a lot of diamonds in a single day. Spend along the week because this will increase the price every day and resets every day back to 100. And hey, since I talked to you guys about drop testings, this is it. There are like roses of every color dropping on the elite and normal maps, so we will do some drop testings really quick and show you guys the results. If you are not familiar with drop testing, this is a test account for testing purposes only, that's why I have so many resources. And what I usually do is that I get 2400 VIT and I'm going to spend on four specific maps. I'm going to the elite dungeons that cost 24 VIT to raid, then I'm going back and I'm going to these ones, Moonlight Valley, Cuckoo Mountain and probably Dawn Island. Um, no, it's actually starting on Cuckoo Mountain, which is 16 VIT. And then I'm going back to the Pokemon League, so 12 VIT testing over here. And then to finish it off, I'm going to Scream Volcano and I'm going to spend over here. Each of these four options that I mentioned will be spent 2400 VIT on each one and we will compare how many resources we get from each of those rates. And here are the results. We started with this, we went to the 24, to the 16 and 20 of the elites, then went to the normal 12 maps and normal 6 maps. Keeping in mind, it's a 2400 VIT for each of these. And from this drop testing, we got more of the rare items on the Elite 24 maps and on the normal 6 VIT maps. And as I was trying to go and showcase these Pokemon on my account, apparently it bugged, everything went dark and now it... Okay, lights are back on. And uh, what I want to say, um, I have the, both of these on my account, so they will be a little bit more fun to test. I'll test them around at the stream later. 
but they are not good. Okay, they are not the kind of Pokemon that you want to get because you want to play with them. It's more the type of Pokemon that you probably want for your own collection, I would say. They, they seem fun. They have passives that they work together, especially the female. If you notice, it's doing, it has been doing like a lot of damage. It's mostly Reaper damage. Hopefully the female attacks again. So we can see a little bit of that white damage over there is Reaper damage because it's together with the male. And oh no. Well, I lost. Uh, it was expectable <laughs> that I would lose. I've been a little bit way too far into the battle, honestly, with these two. And they're fun. Yeah, they're fun, but it's mostly something that you get it only if you like it because you like the Pokemon or to collection or something like that. And this is it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.